Are you gaining presents? Long and I dream. Hello everybody, Daijiling from Are You Gaming once again with the vanishing of Ethan Carter. I'm sorry, I took the time to figure out this puzzle and I figured out I was doing it completely wrong. I had to walk through every correct room, not just certain correct rooms. But anyway, as you can see, we are in a creepy, creepy, creepy room with a head and a dead baby and scientific stuff. It looks like an alchemist's lab, maybe, kind of. It's weird either way. Jesus. That is like a demon baby. That is terrifying. And a dead head. Ugh. This is some creepy crap. Anyway, we're going to read this now. A magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's house and demanded he share his potions with them. We want to see the future too, they told him, but the magician said no. The people from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house, but the ma magician knew this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Why are you standing there? You spying? No. No, huh? What the hell's wrong with you exactly? <sighs> Nothing. You need to stop leaving your stupid stories around. They're freaking everyone out. Don't be mean to that kid. This poor kid. Blaze reveals moonshine <laughs> operation. Oh, by Daniel Josephson. Bayfield County, Ashland Township volunteer firefighters discovered an apparent moonshine still while battling a blaze in the woods off Old Ogden Road. According to authorities, the still comprised of a propane stove and four-gallon stainless steel pot, which was used to hold the whiskey mash. Based on the size of the still, Bayfield County Sheriff Hank Shaffel believes it may be part of a small operation, though he admitted there could be other stills in the county. Officers on the scene recovered a half gallon of apple pie moonshine and one gallon of unflavored moonshine. Apple cider and cinnamon sticks were found adjacent to the still. The police have been unable to determine who owns the still. Wow, apple pie moonshine actually sounds pretty good. I tried meat peach moonshine once, and while it was very, very sweet, it wasn't terrible. Oh, okay. We already read that. So, a lot of stuff right now has to do with a fire. I'm in a closet. I'm in a... No, this is different. Where the hell am I at? I don't think I'm in the same house. Holy smokes, let's go out here and enjoy this gorgeous view and hope to God we don't collapse. Wow. No, we're in the same house. It's just... In the last video I did in this house, I didn't get the puzzle, and so it was completely closed off to me. I already went in this room to look around, so let's go downstairs. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Mm, this is much different looking. Oh, apparently... What it was, was the house that we just saw earlier, the big old red house up on the hill, is the clues, is like the clues to the puzzle that I'd been fucking up over and over again. This house, the red house here, is basically the same house that I was exploring the portal rooms of in this house. And there's, it's supposed to tell you exactly what you're looking for. But I still don't want to skip over this house because last time I, uh, last time I ran in here and explored, there was audio tidbits talking about Ethan that could be very helpful to the case. 
Coo coo coo. Birdie, isn't that a quail? I can't remember what bird makes that call. Anyway. We're gonna go in here. And the ominous music's gonna play. Oh, look, a photo. Wait, 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 wait. On the day the photo was taken, Uncle Chad was mean, Dad was sad, Mom was mad, Travis was loud, and Gramp was quiet. Well, I kind of want to look at the photo. So, I'm guessing... Ethan, Grandpa. Uh, Travis, Mom, Dad, and... Uncle Chad, who looks very, very angry. So. What did you do? What did you wake up? Nothing. I found a room, I walked into it, that's it. Yeah, we're gonna explore each of these rooms and hear the interactions between the characters. You can feel it, right? Something, uh, something coming from the Vandegrift house. I can feel it. Ethan disturbed the sleeper. He must be punished. So far, whatever this sleeper is, it seems like... These parents are going to... Punish their own kid. For the act. That doesn't seem right. Okay, this room I already activated the talk scene in. Which, I think I was supposed to do this before... ...the puzzle. Pop, they're getting worse. They keep talking about this... ...thing, this sleeper. I know. What I don't know... ...is if it's real or not. You know what? I don't know. We haven't seen anything specifically sleeper-esque at this moment. Gonna go in each of these rooms. Yeah, this is basically an exact replica of the portals I was supposed to walk through. You have to help us. So. It's the only way. It wants Ethan. You're crazy. You've all gone crazy. I... Used a guide mostly because I didn't. I was kind of stupid and didn't realize this house gave you exactly. Travis, leave the boy alone. I see how you've been looking at him. You don't even know, do you? You have no idea what's going on. Hopefully, next time I won't be, have to use a guide. I'm just terrible at puzzle games, but I really wanted to play this because it seemed interesting to me. Did I come in here yet? Oh, okay, I think it just took me in a circle. You know, I just... I've wanted to play this. It's one of the horror games that was listed in an article I read. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> I didn't mean for any of this to happen. <laughs> God, this poor kid. I hope I can find him. I really do. I don't want anything to happen to this poor kid. But, anyway, as I said, I love horror games, and so when I saw this on a list of horror games, I became intrigued. I really wanted to play Daylight, but since I do not have a good enough PC, a good enough video card for it, I will not be able to play it until I can upgrade. Same with The Evil Within. When it comes out, I'm going to be playing it on the PS3, either over at Flog's house, 
or I'm going to be borrowing the legato from him. I'm thinking about going over to his house and recording. Or his place and recording. Because he's got a bigger TV than I do, and I don't want to miss out on any details or anything while I'm playing this game. Because this game looks amazing, this The Evil Within. And I hope I'm going the right way. I hope I'm going the right way. I don't even know. Oh. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Did I not? I just came from that way, so I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> I got turned around because I was looking at something else off to my side. over in this area? Nope, nope, okay. I just kind of want to make sure I don't miss anything, so you're going to see a lot of... Uh, a lot of me going off the path. No, get off the rock. Big old church. There's probably going to be a lot of backtracking, too, but I'll probably do that when I'm not recording so that I don't bore you guys with anything you don't want to see. I don't even know where I'm going. I'm just running around in the forest. I can't jump. Okay, so... Mm. Ow, 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 ow. My foot just fell asleep. Tingling uncomfortably. What do the dead have to say? You'd be surprised by how little they know. The dead can't explain what it means to be dead. I think I've gone they too walk far. downstairs that disappear beneath their feet, headed for some bright blade of memory they'll never reach. I think I went too far. I don't think I was supposed to go this far just yet. So we're gonna turn around, we're gonna backtrack. Hopefully that won't take the rest of the video. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna backtrack a little bit more just to do some additional exploring. Mostly because if I get too far ahead of myself, I'm not going to. I'm gonna miss something, obviously. We don't want to miss anything. Because that would make the video less interesting. Okay, so... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, don't you do that to me, game. Game trying to freeze on me. Hm. Game's trying to freak out on me. Just a little. No, 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 no. Don't you crash on me or anything. You dickhead. I 
<laughs> Don't you crush on me or anything. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Game's acting like it's gonna give me a hard time. Game, why are you doing this? What are you doing to me? Things aren't loading, it's... Things aren't loading correctly, so everything's starting to hiccup on me. Render. Render. There you go. Don't do that to me. Come on. What was that? People come here for many reasons. They want to ask me questions about the future. But I can see the future. So it is the past that interests me. If you want to find my house, you must answer the questions I ask of you. Um... Okay, where am I at? You feel there is vanity in charity. Do you admire thieves for their bravery or their greed? Um... Um, would you rather be a leaf or a root? Would you prefer anonymity over notoriety? When you close your eyes, whose voice do you hear? <laughs> slow. A beautiful woman sat by a river. A witch approached and told the woman she was to have a child. The woman began to cry with joy. But the joy turned to fear and she could not stop crying. Fear turned to sadness. The woman continued to cry. She cried for months, hardly sleeping until the child was born. But the crying had aged the woman and she was no longer beautiful. When he was old enough, her son climbed the mountain to find the home of the witch. He asked her if she could make his mother beautiful again. The witch asked the boy many questions. After hearing the answers, the witch told the boy she had lied to the mother about her child. The boy disappeared, and the mother was beautiful again. Ethan, the point of life is not to rock the boat. Just try to get along. Stop living in your head. Do something real. That's what people respond to. Reality. Note from Ethan's mother. Ethan, honey, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I want you to keep this note and read it every time I lose my temper. I don't mean it, and I know I got a snake's tongue. You're my little guy, my precious bean. You just gotta pull your head out of them clouds, okay? Wow. Um. Well, I don't even know where I'm at now. <laughs> oh, man. I am very deep in the woods right now. Mm. 
Okay. Get back to the path. No, no, no. Don't freeze on me. Stop it. Quit your crap. Anyway, I'm going to stop here. And hopefully it's saved from the witch's house. If not, I'll just go through that again and then I'll record after that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy what you're seeing. If you do, leave a like, leave a comment. Subscribe if you'd like. We are always grateful and we always sub back. Anyway, I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you very much for watching that video. Click in the upper left to subscribe and then check out Unturned. I need pants. I don't have any pants. <laughs> check us out on Google Plus and Twitter for all the new updates for the channel. And then check out Five Nights at Freddy's. Um... <laughs> also, make sure you click on the Brain and Behavior logo there so you can check out the charity drive that we're doing for them right now. Also, thank you very much, and goodbye, everyone.